Well, should you actually use an agent? That's probably the question that you're looking to answer in this video. And I'll give you a personal opinion. If I knew exactly the degree that I wanted to take and the university that I wanted to study at, I would apply directly to that institution. That way you've got a one-to-one -one relationship directly with the people who are gonna be making a decision. Yes, it's gonna mean more paperwork for you. Yes, it means you're gonna be the one who has to do the follow-up, but it does get, allow you to create that direct connection between you and the institution. Anyway, we're talking about education agents today, so let's talk about will you be disadvantaged if you don't use an education agent? And the answer is no. If you use an education agent, there are some advantages to it. They do paperwork for you. They're able to chase up institutions on your behalf, which is obviously a big plus. They've got lots of experience, so they're able to answer lots of questions. But does that mean you are more likely to be admitted to a particular institution? No, not really. If all you have to do is fill out the paperwork and you'll be judged on your merits. So there's no disadvantage to applying directly to an institution, but there are certainly some advantages to applying through an agent. Well, it's a couple of hours later and I'm right here in the heart of Alice Springs. This is Todd Street Mall and what better place to start by talking about what is an education agent and what exactly do they do? Well, firstly, an education agent, their job is essentially to understand the different types of education options that are available for you. So whether that's simply a language program, a vocational education program, for example, like cooking, or right through to like bachelor's and master's degrees at universities, their job is to understand what those programs are, where they're available, and how they sequence together. So for example, if you want to do a master's degree, you may need to do some preliminary English studies. An education agent's job is to understand the prerequisites for that program. So what do they actually do? Well, when you go to see an education agent, their job is really to understand what you're looking for and to suggest different types of programs. The advantage of an education agent is that they have specialist knowledge and that they've often visited many of the organisations and institutions where you might be thinking to study. So they've got actual experience having visited those places. So when you go to see an agent, they will ask you lots of questions about what you're hoping to do and hopefully be able to give you good advice about how to take the steps to do the program that you want to do. All right, I'm now fueled up with coffee from the best coffee here in Alice Springs, which is called Epilogue right here on the mall. So let's talk about the advantage of using an education agent. An education agent, because of that specialist knowledge, is able to give you some really specific advice and make things easier for you. So if you're hoping to do something like um, a master's degree and you're choosing between two different countries, let's say Canada and Australia, that's a really hard choice. How do you weigh up the pluses and minuses of each country? Not to mention each institution and each degree that you're looking at doing. An education agent is there to give you more detailed advice to hopefully be able to weigh up those decisions more accurately. So that's definitely an advantage. The second advantage is that they'll do a lot of the paperwork for you. There's plenty of paperwork when it comes to applying for every kind of education experience overseas, whether it's an English language program, whether it's a master's degree, you've got to do all the paperwork. And sometimes it gets confusing exactly what you need to do in order to get admitted into that particular program. So an education agent can help you with that. On top of that, once you've got admitted to an institution, whether it's language or a university, you still have to get a visa. And there are plenty of steps that go into getting a visa to studying in another country. And education agents have experience getting students through that process as well. So yes, all that information is publicly available, but no, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily easy to do. So having an agent behind you can definitely make the process a lot easier. Well, what's the disadvantage of using an education agent? Because so far, it sounds like it's all upsides, right? They make it easier for you. They do research, they do the paperwork. So what would be a disadvantage? Well, it kind of comes down to how education agents get paid because mostly they're paid by commission from the organisations to which they send students. So for example, a language school might pay as much as 40% commission or sometimes even higher in order to have a student come to them through an agent. And for universities, it can be anywhere from five to 20% of your tuition fee that goes to that agent. So that's how they're paid. So with that in mind, you can see a little bit of a conflict of interest between somebody giving you advice and recommending particular institutions because 
Maybe for them there's a financial incentive to send you to one institution rather than another. Now, I don't want to say that that's always going to be the case, but certainly it puts a little bit of pressure on. And so you always want to know that the choice you're making for a university or any type of education program is the one that's right for you. So the disadvantage of using an agent is that they don't represent every university or every institution. They don't have necessarily knowledge of all of the different types of programs that are out there. And as a result, they might not be making a decision that's exactly right for you. They might be making a decision which might be the best they can do for you, but it's cutting off the different types of options that are out there. However, if I wasn't sure about exactly what degree I wanted to take, or which institution, or even which country I wanted to go and study in, that's where an education agent is definitely going to give you a great start in the whole journey. When it comes to working with education agents, Australia actually leads the world. We have what's called the ESOS Act, the uh, Education Services for Overseas Students Act, and there's legislation, there's literally government rules that say what education agents are and aren't allowed to do, and the different kinds of rules that govern their operations. So we do have some incredibly good protections here in Australia for international students because most countries have nothing like that. Australia has literally led the world when it comes to that innovation.